What's cracking, Smolders? Manler here in the man cave. About to pack my shit up and head up to New Jersey for the weekend, get my learn on, enhance y'all's viewing pleasure and learning experience with uh, with pretty much everything I do, both videos and emails. And um, before I do that, I want to go over my checklist. A little checklist I go over whenever I do any traveling, whether it be a business trip or um, a pleasure vacay. So without further ado, I'm gonna give you my tips to maintain your swole while going on either the business trips or the vacations that you plan for the summer or pretty much whenever. So like I said, there's no excuse for coming back a fat weak pussy. You wanna maintain your swole. It's a lot easier to maintain than become that fat weak pussy and then have to start from scratch. So take these tips into account and allow yourself to live the life of swole. Enjoy. Number one, no greasy or fatty foods the night before or the morning of the flight. Trust me, you do not want to be stuck having to drop a deuce, a sloppy one, while on that airplane. Trust me, it's, it's, it's nasty. I mean, you got probably crabs and urine all over that seat. And I mean, could you imagine if there's turbulence and you're having to, no, just trust me. Stay away from the fatty, nasty foods to avoid having to take a sloppy shit in an unstable and unclean environment. Number two, stay hydrated and eat more vegetables and fruits leading up to that flight. Your immune system's already gonna be compromised by the situation you're thrust into while being on that plane. You're gonna be breathing in recycled, diseased fart air. That's right, everyone farts on a plane. I fart on a plane, everyone farts on a plane, and it's just, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the pressure, but ultimately, your immune system is going to be compromised, so take preventative measures by staying hydrated and increase the uh, the fruits and vegetables that you eat so that you will uh, be packed with nutritious items in your diet that will keep you from getting sick. Three, if possible, pack your own food. You're going to be controlling what you eat, and uh, when you do that, you're going to know exactly the nutrients you're getting from your food. Besides, if you go to any airport, you know they're going to charge like $15 for a dog shit ham and cheese sandwich that has no nutrition behind it. It's all preserved dog shit and like I said, it's overpriced, uh, nutritious value is next to nothing and ultimately just avoid this by packing your own meals. Number four, make sure you're well rested. If you're sleep deprived, what happens is essentially your immune system is compromised. And when it's already compromised and you're going into an environment like an airplane or an airport where there's a bunch of sick people all over, um, you're breathing in that recycled, fart and disease ridden air, you don't want to have uh, more cards stacked against you. So make sure you're well rested and um, yeah. Five, if at all possible, if you are allowed to choose your seat, steer clear of kids, babies, or anyone that looks unhealthy, it's gonna be like sniffling and coughing all over your ass, spreading their nasty ass germs. Like I said, one of the biggest keys is just getting out of the airplane and airport without getting sick. You're put in a compromised situation, avoid everything at all cost that will get you um, closer to being sick. That's not cool. If you're sick, you're not gonna get swole. Six. If you have a chance to book your own hotel, resort, house, condo, or wherever you're going to be staying while on this business trip or vacation, make sure you book it at a place that's going to be either near a gym, um, it's going to have you know a park close to it where you can do some body weight stuff, or has a high flight of stairs where you can kind of put together some badass brick shit house type train. Don't be the lazy pussy that thinks going on a vacation means you don't have to do shit. It only takes 20 or 30 minutes. Don't be lazy, don't be a pussy. Do what you gotta do to continue marching the ball down the field and help you reach your goals. Seven, don't get too hammered. I know you're going on either, like I said, that business trip and you wanna drown your sorrows or uh, have some liquid libation to ease the frustration or you're going on that vacation that you just wanna cut loose at but remember, you just got done uh, flying, your immune system's already compromised, and nothing will send it over the edge like that, being sleep deprived, and then on top of it, getting absolutely shit-based. 
do yourself a favor. Go easy on the alcohol. Have a couple. Maybe you just want to get a little buzz. Do so responsibly. And um, just remember, if you do get hammered, your immune system is going to be shot. You're going to get sick. And you're not going to enjoy the time you're spending wherever you're going to be. And you're definitely not going to be swole. Eight. Go somewhere where you can enjoy the fruits of your labor. We bust our ass in the gym so that we can have that jacked, ripped, athletic, badass physique. So do yourself a favor. Go somewhere where you can show it off and be the disciple of swole that I want you to be. There's no point in busting your ass in the gym if you can't enjoy it. So go out, be fruitful, prosper, do so uh, with a little bit of discretion. But uh, ultimately, like I said, you need to enjoy the fruits of your labor. So go somewhere like a beach, go somewhere that has a pool, pool party, I don't know, do something that allows you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Enjoy the life of Swole. Number nine and last one, I realize this is terribly meatheaded for me to say this, but if at all possible, plan your vacation around a deload week. The whole purpose of the deload is to rejuvenate and recover, and what better way to do this when, um, than when you are on vacation? You don't have to worry about a gym, being able to lift the weights necessary for you to reach your goals. You can just do some 20 to 30 minute brick shit house training and the great thing about that is it will allow you to do a proper deload but also give you a nice little pump before you go on the beach or the, the pool or wherever you're going to be showing off your swole and it will enhance your chances of, of getting a little action. So do these and I think you'll really appreciate everything and when you do get back to reality you're not going to be kind of off the wagon you're not going to come back a fat weak pussy have a good night folders. Mammer. out